Hello, this is Simon from boneguitar.co.uk and this is part two of my tutorial on how to play Cavatina or the theme from the Deer Hunter by Stanley Myers. So we're starting now at bar nine, which is a partial bar chord covering four strings at the second fret and we need um, the finger on the G sharp on the first string, fourth fret. Now you can either use your third finger or the little finger. But the previous bar does finish with the G sharp played with your third finger. So we've got the half bar on, we've got the G sharp with either the third or the little finger, whichever feels more comfortable. And then we're playing the fifth string, first string together, four, three, two, three, four. So that is. And that's a chord of A major seven. And we're now moving into bar 10, which gives us a chord of D major seven. And um, so that is keeping the bar on at the second fret. We put the little finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, and the third finger on the fourth string, fourth fret fret. And we're playing the 5th string and 1st string together again. 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. And then we have a quick movement where we need to play the open E string. So that's the 1st string open. So that bar 10 is... Now, if you have problems with that chord, that little finger on that, string another way of playing it not quite as good but as easier is to partial bar the 10th fret only covering three strings so the first bass note we can play then is an open string and then drop the third finger onto the fourth string fourth fret so we could also play it as um, it depends whether you've got the stretch try and work on that chord but if it's a major problem, and some people who do have small arms find that they can't play that, is then play that as an open string. You have to work within um, the technique or physical movements of the fingers. If you've, if you've not got the stretch, see if you can work around it. Um, so into bar 11, a G major seven chord is the second finger on the third fret, sixth string, first finger on the second fret, first string. And we're playing six and one together. Fourth string, third, second, third, four. So bar 11. Into bar 12, the first finger, third finger moves across, sorry, the second finger moves across onto the um, fifth string, third fret, and the first finger onto the second fret, fourth string. That's a C major seven chord. So we're now playing the first string and fifth string together. Four, three, two, three, four. Bar 13, the first finger onto the B, second fret, fifth string, little finger onto the fourth fret, F sharp, fourth string, and the second finger onto the second fret third string, giving us A. And within that we have all the notes we need because there is not also the open B string on the second string. So we're now playing five and one together, fourth string, third string, second string, third string, fourth string. Into bar 13, don't move your fingers. We play the fifth string again and then the fourth string. So bar 13 into the first beat, uh, bar 13, taking us into the first beat of bar 14, is then. Partial bar at the second fret, uh, covering three strings. And then we play the third string, first string together. The third finger drops onto the B on the third string, fourth fret. Remove that finger and put the little finger onto the second string D sharp, fourth fret, 
and we're playing the second string and third string together. And then that third finger moves back onto the fourth string, fourth fret, F sharp. So the uh, second and third beat in bar 14 are. I'll play that again. Into bar 15, it's pretty straightforward. The first finger is on the second fret, third string A, and we're playing the sixth string, third string, and first string together. That's followed by F sharp on the fourth fret, fourth string. Our first finger drops back to the first fret, giving us G sharp on the third string. And then keep that finger on. The second finger lands onto the second fret, fourth string, and we have an E chord. So we play four, three, two, one. So bar 15 is. Bar 16 starts with that open E. We play the second string again, and then the first string. So um, up to the first beat in bar 16, from 15 we go. Play the first string again. Now, this time we're now moving up into the seventh position. So the first finger's first string, seventh fret. The third finger will land on the ninth fret, second string G sharp. So that's giving us G sharp on the second string, B first string, and the final note we play in bar 16 is D sharp on the 11th fret first string so bar 15 through to the end of bar 16 is um, so we have this so we're the half bar second fret the D major 7 chord quick open string, G major 7, C major 7 bar 12, bar 15, and that's where I'll leave the left hand and now let's uh, move over to the right hand. Um, so continuing from bar 9, um, we have the chord and we're playing the 5th string and the 1st string together. So we do the rest stroke again on that 1st string. Thumb plays the 4th string. Index finger plays the 3rd. Middle finger, index. And then thumb. Bar 10, similar in that we're playing the rest stroke on the first string melody note, fifth string with the thumb, thumb again, index, middle, index, thumb, and then the open string, we can use the middle finger, and then onto bar 11, the long dotted half note or dotted minim, we then play with the rest stroke again, with the thumb playing the bass note, Thumb again plays the fourth string, index, middle, index, thumb, into bar 12, similar again, rest stroke on that first string, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, into bar 13, the rest stroke again on that first string, so it's thumb, thumb again, index, middle, index, thumb, and then we're into the first beat of bar 14, which is again is thumb, thumb. Now I'm playing the melody uh, with the thumb. So I'm playing now the third string A with the thumb and the upper note, the accompaniment note of F sharp with the middle finger. The thumb again plays your third string. The Middle finger is now playing the second string, D sharp, and the thumb again plays the A on the third string, and then the final note of bar 14, 
again, it's with the thumb. So the, the second and third beat of bar 14 are... into bar 15. Now I, I arpeggiate that chord. So I'm using the thumb on the sixth string, index fingers playing the third string, and I'm using the third finger on that first string. So, thumb again, index finger on the third string, and then we have an arpeggio of an E chord, which is your fourth string, thumb, index fingers, third string, middle finger, second string, first string with the right hand third finger we're now back to the second string so this time I'm playing um, the index finger going to play that B on the second string and then the middle finger on the first string so that's now B E and that finger now repeats as we move up the neck to the G sharp on the second string and then middle finger again so that's B E G sharp B notice you're just repeating the same index middle twice that's to avoid your fingers crossing and then that final note of D sharp in bar 16 I again use the middle finger on that that's just to keep the tone even between the B and the D sharp rather than changing and getting a slightly different tone between each finger so it's then um, rest stroke rest stroke and there I will uh, leave Cavatina for this tutorial at bar 16 I hope this helps you to play this beautiful piece. Music and tabs are available from my site www.boltonguitar.co.uk and I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.